one one draw with Norwich. Out of seven draws that we've had, how many draws were one goal that was given by us? Kieran Clark. I don't I don't know if you watched my previous video, but I had clearly mentioned this guy. I I don't know if he's out of form or he's just careless, but we have all seen in the past few games he has not been play, playing up to his potential. He has been giving out free fouls. He has given, if not more, I remember at least two penalties in the series of draws that we've had. And I just don't understand why he was there in the starting lineup. I, I, Federico Fernandez, by all means, when he came, came on, he showed what he could actually do. And it was disappointing just because how careless a person can be to put the team down under so much pressure. We are already under so much pressure because of uh, not winning amongst the 96 professional teams that are there. And out of that, the defensive lineup that starts decides that we can give the, the team, uh, the opposition, an advantage of one player at 80 minutes left for the game. This was the carelessness that has costed us the, the winning uh, score. We would have easily defeated Norwich. Norwich on the day was laid back. I don't know why they could not push up. They, their movement wasn't fast. The game wasn't right. We could have, we could have easily thumped Norwich City, but it did not happen. And now we are left with one less match where we could have won. With the chances of us winning were better. Burnley City is the next game that we have, and this. If the previous one wasn't must win, which we did not win, thanks to uh, current clock, Burnley game is the deciding game for us. If we do not win, then I, as much as I don't want to, I will have to accept that we are going to go down. Championship is not what I would want the team to look at, but yes, if we don't win the Burnley game, we would be looking at championship for the next year with all the money and everything that we can do after January. If we don't perform in December, then we will be stuck for a year down below. And even the players that would come in January, nobody would be, no big player is going to come and sign for a club, which if not more, at least 75 to 80 percent chances is that we are going to go down. If the, if the players are coming, they are going to come with a contract where you come in and if the team gets relegated the players are going to leave i think uh, andrew townsend was uh, one example of that Ginny Vinaldum, you had so many names that people came in the moment we got relegated these players left the club sissoko being one of them i think so burnley is this saturday and i hope i just hope we don't do any foolishness federico fernandez should be a definite start Manquillo was good on the wing, but again, you could have we could have easily done with Ryan Fraser or Jacob Murphy and could have given the start to Frederico Fernandez. Well, it has already happened and we cannot change what is already done. Let's just hope, I just hope, hope, hope we perform better and we take the game to Burnley. We, the attack is decent right now. We are Callum Wilson did not get much service uh, in the forward, but again, when you're one player shot, you, your focus is more on defense and less on offense. So, automatically, after nine minutes of the game, we were we were work, working with a handicap for the rest of it. We got the advantage. The penalty that was there was barely a decent penalty. Luckily, it went in by the crossbar. Hopefully, 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 we are going to perform well in the Burnley game and take it to the team. Please tell me your views on Kieran Clark overall, not just for the last game. Give me your views on the club and let's see, hopefully uh, we perform better. Tomorrow I'll, I'll give my predicted lineup. Hopefully we win this one and then it changes the course. 
remember we need 10 points by hook or by crook in December if you don't get 10 points then it's all looking down from there hopefully we win all the best guys